Hi everyone. In this interview, I speak with Hamid Ali Mohammed, who's the Chief Operating Officer of AOMS Technologies. We spoke about Canada's leading position in advanced manufacturing technologies, the impact of Industrial Internet of Things, or IIoT, on Canada's advanced manufacturing sector, and how Canada can attract the best international talent to support its digital transformation, especially in manufacturing. Enjoy. Hi, uh, my name is Hamid Al Mohammed. I'm the co-founder and chief operating officer at AOMS Technologies. Hamid, it's really a pre- pleasure to be speaking with you today. Thank you so much for uh, for joining us. Uh, I'd like to start generally with an overview of what the Industrial Internet of Things is and how AOMS's technology fits into that. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so Internet of Things uh, or IoT and also in the industrial space is called industrial IoT or IIoT, uh, is basically a nexus of connected devices uh, that generate uh, telemetry data. And the data gets ingested by the cloud, uh, and uh, there's another layer to that, and that's data analytics, uh, which includes machine learning and AI. So that's basically called uh, Internet of Things. It's a connected system of um, devices and analytics, including AI and machine learning, that form uh, what would be called uh, Internet of Things. Altogether, uh, an IoT system uh, enables data-driven decision-making and and prediction. Uh, When it comes to uh, industrial applications, um, IoT is used for uh, applications such as uh, process optimization, uh, predictive maintenance of equipment, uh, efficiency and productivity improvement, and also uh, helping with uh, uh, enhancing sustainability. A lot of our businesses are under pressure or they have the mandate to enhance uh, and increase sustainability and improve sustainability, uh, and, and IoT will help them. At AOMS, uh, we develop and offer uh, integrated industrial IoT uh, or Internet of Things platforms, uh, which is basically uh, a turnkey solution for industries to collect, manage, and analyze mission-critical data from their assets and processes. Uh, Our uh, IoT or industrial IoT platform is a turnkey hardware and software system, which is based on on our our patented technology and sensors and instrumentation. Uh, We have deployed our solutions globally in different applications, including uh, construction sites, uh, power generation facilities, uh, in uh, refineries, in renewable energy projects, uh, heavy manufacturing plants, uh, and even environmental remediation sites. Well, that's that's super interesting. And of course, the IoT space seems very broad. So staying on that larger level still, um, what do you see as the impacts or the implications of implementing IoT technology uh, within Canada's manufacturing sector? And How would you describe the type or the level of transformation that this technology can bring to manufacturing in Canada? That's a a good question and then a very good point uh, here. Uh, So IoT or Internet of Things uh, is one of the fastest growing technology trends these days. Uh, And this, I believe this will drive substantial economic growth, both in in the B2B space and also B2C sector. Uh, in the next probably 30 to 40 years. I can tell you that the impact of industrial IoT is comparable to that of uh, personal computers, internet, smartphones that have made uh, fundamental shifts in the economy over the past 40 to 50 years. Um, In this this space, Canada has a very strong global position uh, and that's in cutting edge technologies, which are the pillars of advanced manufacturing artificial intelligence, wireless technologies, computational science, robotics, and optics. These are are the pillars of an advanced manufacturing in general or manufacturing, but but Canada has a very, very strong position in that space. And developing IoT solutions requires out-of-box strategies and considering the current developments in advanced sensor technologies, emerging connectivity technology trends, such as 5G, that we hear that a lot, and um, advanced data analytics, including artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, so that's how we can basically uh, 
create uh, um, a big impact in, 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 in the economy. Now, you mentioned the strengths that Canada has in this, this sector and, of course, the technologies that exist. But having those technologies and actually adopting them and implementing them and putting them to productive uh, use are, are two different things. Um, how would you describe the importance of tech adoption within Canada's uh, manufacturing sector? And specifically, what potential does advanced manufacturing and, of course, the technologies that enable it represent when you look at Canada's post-COVID recovery or our future economy? Yeah, that's that's actually a very, very good follow-up question. Uh, so, and, and, and the whole COVID uh, situation brought up a lot of thinking uh, about like the future of automation and instrumentation, IoT, data analytics, everything all together. So, I believe there are, uh, there are uh, some key advantages for Canadian manufacturers in adopting technologies such as IoT or industrial IoT, uh, increasing productivity, efficiency, safety, and sustainability. Uh, in addition to that, uh, digital transformation in general, um, which I would like again to refer to uh, industrial IoT and what we call it today, Industry 4.0, will help the manufacturers to optimize their processes, uh, optimize asset utilization, increase labor productivity, manage supply chain and inventory, and have a better after-sale service. Well, in terms of driving that, in, that uh, adoption and that implementation, um, do you have any insight on what supports are available to uh, manufacturing SMEs in Canada uh, that are looking to bring IoT and the related technologies into their uh, operations? So in Canada especially, uh, there are a lot of actual resources uh, that, uh, that, that the manufacturers can use. Uh, the starting point is, uh, is employing uh, technology champions and experts. And uh, one of the good things about uh, running a business in Canada is that uh, we have access to Canadian talent through a number of hiring subsidy programs that are sponsored by uh, both federal and provincial governments. And that's actually a big uh, initiative in Canada. Uh, there are a number of initiatives, for, especially for hiring young employees, uh, new grads, uh, uh, with advanced degrees, uh, with master's, PhDs, uh, and also for 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 other uh, other roles and basically employees that are starting to go into the job market. In addition to that, um, uh, research and development projects, which I believe uh, parts of the uh, adoption process, it requires some R and D by by these companies, can be subsidized uh, uh, by uh, programs that we have in Canada, such as Industrial Research Assistantship Program. It's also called IRAP. And the, uh, our scientific research and experimental development tax credit program, also called uh, SRMED or SHRED. Um, in addition to that, uh, the federal regional development agencies um, that are basically their federal departments have programs supporting innovation, job creation, and productivity. Uh, another uh, very interesting uh, 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 support that we have in Canada that's that's very recent is the is the Advanced Manufacturing Supercluster Program. Uh, it's, it's a program that I, I believe they started a couple of years ago, and it enables uh, private sector leaders to uh, pursue game-changing and, and market-driven innovations. When you look at that constellation of supports and, and organizations, is there anything you think is missing? Do you see any gaps within that ecosystem that, uh, that really would help our uh, manufacturing SMEs yeah, supercharge their growth by adopting these, these uh, technologies. I really want to focus on this, that invest in people. Um, I think we as a country, we have a great potential to become a globally competitive, data-driven digital economy. And uh, I mean, I always say this, invest in people. Like great ideas, great companies, great businesses come from, from smart people. So we need to really invest uh, more in training our local talents to become world-recognized digital transformation leaders. At the same time, attract international experts. We are such a diverse. Uh, uh, we have a, such a diverse uh, demography in Canada, and that will actually help us to attract uh, even international talents in, in, into the country. Um, so that's actually very important. I think uh, investing more in people, 
in, uh, in, in training, in education, uh, that are related to, to these global initiatives for, uh, um, for digital transformation. I think that that's an important thing to consider. Obviously, Hamid, you're, you're a tech guy, you're a technologist. Um, uh, it, it comes through loud and clear. Um, from that perspective, how do you see uh, manufacturing, the manufacturing industry's digital transformation evolving in the years ahead? And what excites you most in terms of the trends or the technologies that you think are going to shape that industry's future? I believe uh, the future of digital transformation will evolve, will revolve around data analytics, AI, and connectivity technologies such as 5G. So these are the pillars of digital transformation. And uh, I think the future of tra digital transformation will be focused um, or mostly will, will, will evolve through data analytics and machine learning and, and connectivity. Uh, while there are many initiatives for, for example, AI in advanced manufacturing, what we see today is only the, the cusp of it. Uh, the new developments in computational science and, and application-specific analytics, uh, the manufacturing industry can benefit from uh, the power of data-driven exponential growth, for example, in productivity. But there's so much you can do with data. I mean, we hear a lot about data these days, uh, uh, the, the power of data and analytics, but that's just a start of it. Uh, so what's going to shape the future of uh, digital uh, manufacturing or a digital economy in the future is what we can get from data. At the same time, uh, we should consider that cloud is a key part of the digital transformation as we need to transfer data to the cloud and communicate through the cloud, do analytics on the cloud, and advancement in the connectivity. And that's what I, what I mentioned at the beginning about 5G for reliable and fast data communication is, is a key part of this, this whole equation. Um, and... Uh, and, uh, and, and and what we see again from 5G is already is only early deployments these days. Uh, uh, it's still at the early stage, and there's going to be a lot of uh, potential uh, uh, and, and new opportunities that are going to be created with that. So I will summarize it as uh, connectivity, data analytics, and AI as the future of digital transformation, which excites me and I think a lot of people in the in the tech sector. You're obviously somebody who's very passionate about this sector and the potential within it. Uh, if you had 30 seconds to pitch somebody or a group of people or an organization uh, with the power to really make Canada a leader in advanced manufacturing, uh, who would you pitch uh, and what would you urge them to do right now? I'll basically pitch to both political and industrial leaders. And uh, what I would say is just what I believe, invest in people. So we have such a strong... Uh, uh, talent uh, that they can become globally competitive and data-driven uh, experts, uh, data-driven decision-making experts, and, and, and they can drive digital economy. And uh, I believe investing in, in people. We need to invest in training and education uh, to, uh, for, to, to have local talents, world-recognized digital transformation leaders. That's the biggest uh, investment that we can do. And uh, I, I can assure everyone, both political leaders and industrial leaders, that the return on investment is going to be very positive. Uh, at the same time, uh, as I mentioned, we are such a diverse, uh, uh, we have such a diverse population and attracting uh, the best of the best international experts in this field um, to different programs um, that would bring uh, lots of value for, for the future of uh, our country.